Hello folks, today I'm going to be talking about uh, my experience with outsource company. Uh, we are a very large organization, uh, but I don't want to reveal the, the name of the company and all of that. It's a big company, uh, 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 outsource company, okay? And there, there are many things that um, for the last, I don't know, 10 years or, or so, that I can share with you. I think the first one is probably the, the quality of work because many times, just like any organization, they have new people come in and they might not know, know what they're doing. So you you might get even get like, you know, you submitted a ticket or issues and then it got bounced back and forth, you know, and you feel like, do they know what they're doing? It is not our problem, it's their problem. So it's kind of like a blaming game, you know, it can get frustrated. And that can come from, you know, like new employees that outsource company is using, who, who doesn't know the procedures and all of that and have not been trained, it can happen, you know. Maybe the people that left did not train them. And, you know, since every uh, organization have you know, different procedures of doing things, and especially in IT, yeah, I'm talking about IT, uh, outsourcing. Uh, so the, the quality at the beginning, it took a while after, you know, maybe complaining to the man, to the management or their managers and stuff, to, you know, so it took a while to, to get the quality up instead of t issues about bounce back and forth, you know. And the second one is that when there's a major outage, let's say your network went down or, you know, a communication between servers went down and we, we found out before them, instead of, you know, they're supposed to have monitoring tools that will catch that, but sometimes they did not catch it for whatever reason. And we want to know the, the root cause, but, you know, also as company can play a little you know, weight game, you know, they don't want to give uh, the result. Of course, they would try to fix it, but I think one time it took a long time, you know, to figure out what's going on. And someone at the outsource company actually pulled out or, you know, unplug a cable from a server that, you know, that handled the network. So it, you know, whatever it caused the outage. And there was a human error, it was pretty bad, right? So, uh, things like that, and uh, they, they were reluctant to share information, or they give you a little, you know, oh, we don't know, all of that. I mean, understanding, you know, it, it, it might took them a while to, to, to figure out or check the log files or whatever, or what happened. But uh, sometimes we felt like they, they were hiding something that they, you know, they didn't want to get caught doing something stupid and all of that. So they can get frustrated, you know, because uh, we don't want that to happen again, right? So, uh, anyway, so it, it can be challenging with communi communication, especially most outs IT outsource company or people are located in, in, you know, the, in Asia, or, or particularly like uh, uh, India, it's a big hub for IT outsource, you know. So there's a lot of time differences that can create problems. Some ba language barrier sometimes, you know, we don't really understand the accent or whatever it took, you know, to speak very fast and things like that. And so communication can be, can be very, very tricky and the time difference, you know, and we actually had to, to wake up at 3 a.m. to do the, uh, the upgrades because they, that's another issue because they're not, you know, it looks like they, they're not willing to, to do it or for whatever reason it's gonna cost more money or whatever you know so basically as a customer we feel like we you know we should have a, a lot of saying of you know based on our schedule timeline but lately uh, let me let me touch on that lately you know so uh, you have to be careful as outsource company is taking over more and more of your functions they have huge leverage to dictate your projects, even though you're a customer, you know, because they, they, 
like I said, they have control control on everything, including tools and whatnot, you know. So you gotta be careful what what control you're giving to them, you know. Are, are they just gonna be handling servers pretty much or you're giving them a lot of other functions to that impact applications for example, right? So lately we're having a lot of problem with uh, I would say politics. They they actually and and also we don't feel like you know our management is really up to speed with, with you know with them uh, basically relinquish a lot of control to the outsourced company to dictate how we run our business and, and mainly impact our employee work and family balance because we have to do a lot of extra hours uh, after hours you know we had hours that really threw our body clock off you know we used to to work in sort of after hours but not like early in the morning you know so we feel like they have become more and more dictating how we run business and that also the timing of our project is really they have a lot of power to do that now. I understand that, you know, it's not like we can do everything. There's a limited of resource and all that, but but we feel like, you know, they, they, they're playing more and more politics and employee are not happy. Actually, uh, we have, we uh, we tried to do a project and, and basically they didn't want to go along with it. Even though it's, we're a customer and they had a, one of our people do all of the work and did a demo and everything, you know. And uh, and at the very last stage, after we shown everything to the uh, outsource company, they they just didn't want to, you know. Just mainly, they would not allow us access, you know, like a firewall. It's the last step, you know. We would take maybe like one hour, but for for months, you know, we had to do all of this. And at the same time, they were they were like giving, should I say, you know, bouncing back like, what, what about this? What about that? They asked so many questions, but everything been answered and resolved. But at the end, they had the power to say, no, we're not gonna do it. But what I'm thinking that they're gonna be using that project or tools that we develop and take that over. It's a new kind of new technology, you know. They're gonna use that and we're gonna have to pay for it, you know. That's my guessing. So there's a lot of politics, a lot of game playing, which we don't like. So, and at the same time, we were worried that, you know, with a lot of automation, I think it's true that how IT jobs gonna be reduced because every organization want to do automation, you know? And, and I already see that there's a lot of uh, reorganization and cutting back on existing resources so they can move into more automation meaning you know they're gonna be less need less people to do more which is you know in general sounds good right but you know it's a two side of thing so so people have to be careful with automation you know of course you want to automate things that very uh, tedious you know manual process re repetitive and that that is not good for organization but you know but I guess with really, you know, higher level of automation, it can affect jobs, okay? So, as you know, outsource company already take a lot of American jobs for the last 30, 40 years, you know, because uh, profit and save, save man, saving money, right? I mean, that's always say they gotta save money, they gotta save money, but it impact American workers, you know, or the unemployment, all of that, is that good? Because you know, company want to make a lot of money to pay whatever the shareholders and management. Very few people that benefit from this, but employ uh, employees are, are you know have been reduced and suffered. So I particularly I want to keep job here in the U.S. I think you can actually, in my opinion, you want to have control and leverage over your your business so it's better to let's say develop a team that simulate the outsource company because now you can go with cloud computing basically this I, I will call it architecture or architect in 
infrastructure team that will handle, let's say, cloud infrastructure. We don't need to hire outsource company in India or whatnot, you know. Develop your own, maybe you spend $1 million, and then, of course, you spend money on the, the cloud computing service. But this team going to be just like, you know, outsource company, you know, uh, going to be even do even more. And I think you will save a lot of money. A lot of money. Let's say you, you you spend one million dollar a year on this team. You know, two two millions in a year. That that's nothing, right? If you are a big organization that have you know that impact a lot a lot of people, a lot of customers, uh, it, it will definitely make sense with with the cloud computing, and you can create your own internal, you know team to do that i think it will save a lot of money and you know it will be good for morale it will also be good and you have much more control over your 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 business your environment than than you know, using outsource company i think in my opinion anyway i hope you enjoy my video and uh, have any comments you know click like if you like my video and uh, you know uh, this is all about uh, saving american jobs and and doing things better Instead of just thinking, you know, saving money, but it might not be, you know, over the wrong run. It impact a lot of uh, areas negatively. But doesn't say that we don't need outsource. Some company need outsource a hosting company because they they don't want to invest heavily in uh, equipment, and then after a few years they have to buy new equipment again. That makes sense. So maybe cloud computing is the way to go, or, or hosting company. But in terms of managing your hosting applications, whatever tools, I think it's better to to de develop your own team to handle that and simulate whatever the outsource company do, you know? You, you And that's all they do. I mean, uh, I think we should invest in that. Uh, it would be smarter. You create uh, American jobs here in America and then at the same time you have more control and you have less problems dealing with outsource companies. So anyway, uh, we'll, we'll talk to you folks later. What, what do you think? Uh, please comment. Okay, bye.